All right, guys, live from New York City, we are at ISC East, and I'm joined by Cooper. Cooper, how are you doing? I'm doing terrific. Thanks for having me. So, what's this about? Well, this is, this is it, right? This is the premier cloud booth within this show and within this industry. You have two cloud companies here in Brevo and, and Eagle Eye that are bringing you top-notch cloud-based access and cloud-based video. Um, for those of you that are newer to cloud, I'll just start by level setting a little bit. Some of what we do is we are the opportunity for people that are starting to see more and more that managing the server, managing firewalls, getting behind ports and dealing with local IT is really problematic. So from a cloud standpoint, if we can eliminate that and move to a subscription model, that helps our resellers in terms of the value of their business. But more, it helps the resellers in terms of the headache that they deal with having to manage those types of things. So when you inherently move to the cloud, what you start to do is you start to get people that now understand that recurring revenue and an operational model is what more and more customers are moving to. So we're simply there supporting that. But we're not just a cloud-based VMS, Eagle Eye is an example. What we are is we are an AI-powered cloud VMS. So there are uh, on-premise devices that are going to help you store things locally, but everything's synced to the cloud at Eagle Eye. So what you really get is you get any open camera out there that is a dumb camera turned into a smart camera because we're an open platform working with any cameras. Those cameras are now intelligent because we can take advantage of AI from within our cloud. So if you want to do line crossing or dwell time or alert filtering based upon ignoring things like pixel-based motion, now I've got an opportunity to reduce false alarms and I can go and say only show me an event or a notification or send it through to a professional monitoring center when it's a person or a vehicle that's been detected. All right. Really cool stuff. Yeah, I could go for hours. I need to slow I, myself I, down. I understand because honestly I'm in love with what I'm hearing. Why don't you do me a demo quickly so we can look at it uh, first I'd be time. happy to. And I, I think the demo that I'd like to show you a little bit is, is really it's the AI-powered side of our cloud VMS. So why don't you walk with me over here Perfect. and I'll show you a little bit. Excuse us. Oh, sure. So one of the things that I'd like to start with immediately here is we have something called smart video search. Now, in the world of video, everybody knows that scrubbing video is incredibly obnoxious and time consuming. It is. So we want to fix that. I don't want people scrubbing, looking for things that have occurred and just continuing to take time. So now what we've done is we've been able to say, just like I type into Google how to cook pasta, I now am going to use language-based search to find what it is that I'm looking for. All right. So I know that someone stole something and that person was wearing a red shirt and had a backpack. Now I have the opportunity from within the Eagle Eye Cloud VMS to look for any of these things. But it's natural language-based, so I can add and type in anything I want. I'll simply choose in this example a guy with a backpack and what you're going to see real time across all of my cameras and all sites from all different locations, I'm going to see a heat map here. We start to identify areas of activity so I can quickly look in at key images here. But let's say that's the person in the backpack that I'm looking for. I don't know how we found him so if I click on it, it's actually going to pop up and it's going to let you know what metadata matched on this individual. Yeah, and you have multiple metadata that appear that on the That is screen. absolutely correct. What we do is we cast a wide net as opposed to a narrow net. If I look for somebody with a red shirt, I want to match on somebody that has an orange shirt and a pink shirt because everybody perceives things a little bit differently. So now that I've identified multiple pieces of metadata, if I wanted, I could go a step further and click in and save myself time by searching for that matching metadata across all cameras and locations, wow. which is a massive time saver. So in the end of the day, what it really boils down to is as a reseller, I'm trying to bring value to the end user. And if that end user is spending hours and hours on video, or if they need to access video and request me, the reseller, to arrive, I know that that's cost to the end user. 
And so what I want to do is defer the cost from the end user on things like truck rolls and increase the value through the efficiency gain that they're going to see. And now what I've done is I've set myself up with a recurring revenue model that's good for the valuation of my business, but at the same time saves time and replaces additional costs. The cost to manage a server, the cost to pay an IT person, the cost for a truck roll, and that really is what encompasses the story of cloud for me and from an Eagle Eye Network standpoint. Yeah, because again, like you were telling at the beginning, it can be any cameras. That's how it works, right? Correct, correct. Any cameras. Look, Eagle Eye is an open platform. We are API first and open. So take any camera that exists and we'll go out and support it. We support old analog cameras, we support any OnVIF camera, and if you have problems with that camera, we have dedicated full-time staff that are doing nothing but cranking out camera integrations all day long. <laughs> it's what we do. The nice thing about Eagle Eye is we, we're not here to necessarily sell you our specific cameras. We want to make it easy for the end user. So if you're a reseller that's been managing an end user for a long period of time, and that end user already has a system, or they're not using their VMS, but they still have the infrastructure, the cameras and everything, we're a great foot in the door model because we have the opportunity to say, hey, leave all those cameras in place, add an on-premise bridge or, or cloud-managed video recorder, and now with next to no work, you are up and running, receiving recurring revenue as a reseller, and you had a nice foot in the door tactic to switch that uh, end user over to a cloud-based system. So look, as a guy that's been in the security industry for about 20 years now, um, this was a company that excited me. This was a company that I actively sought to work with because I want to be at a company that's going to be great for the next 20 years, and that's what we have here. I think in the end of the day, when you look at the combination of Brevo and Eagle Eye from a cloud standpoint, it's just the power of two coming together to make a better experience. So whether I'm doing uh, access control and I simply want to pop video based upon events, or I'm doing traditional and pure cloud video, we've got advantages and benefits, we can save money, we can drive efficiency, and ultimately what we're really doing is we're bringing value to the reseller who's looking to drive and promote their business through additional recurring revenue. That's what it boils down to. Yeah, it's incredible, honestly. I, I know we're not familiar, I'm just impressed by your knowledge and the way you I oh, want to thank you. It. Thank you. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I, I am a dork for this. I, I love this stuff. I live it. I breathe it. I, I, I can it. feel it. I can um, feel it. Your passion and, is right there. No, so. it's a big deal. I think, I think what it boils down to it when you start having these experiences, I, I mean, the number of resellers that I have talked to over my years that simply say things like, oh, I don't do cloud. And then we have a conversation and they start to understand the benefit. Everything changes, right? So I think oftentimes there, there's a feeling that if I, if I am a non-cloud person, that the cloud's big, it's scary, we don't understand it. But at the end of the day, if we want to manage and do additional local storage and also have it replicated to the cloud, that's a capability. So it's not like you're deciding one day that I'm only on-premise in a traditional system and then I have to leave that world. What Eagle Eye does great is we can do replication and cloud retention of other video systems. So if you want that replication and to stop managing Dell servers, for example, yeah. you now have an opportunity without even switching your VMS. But for the people that are ready to take the jump, I think a lot of people have a preconceived notion that there is no capability to retrieve video if the internet yeah. goes down, and that's a common misconception. I think also one of the common questions with cloud is privacy, because your information is out there, it's not local, so you don't have total control over it. So what's different for Eagle Eye there? Look, cybersecurity is number one for us, right? What we do, SOC 2 compliant, ISO, everything else, we are 100% on board with that. We own and manage our own global data centers, right? So that is a, it, it, people that are utilizing another provider's cloud now have another person in the mix, so that if there is a security breach, there are additional hands along the way. Mm -hmm. We eliminate the AWS, the Azure, because we manage our own global data centers, and that's one less touch point or, or area of concern. I think the other, we, other thing that we do is our on-premise device is something that's going to give you a secure connection so that we can talk up to the cloud, but we block everything down. There's no inbound ports at the location, and that really gives us additional security. 
the end of the day, cybersecurity is absolutely at the forefront of what we do and who we are. Yeah, that's good. And another key point that I heard from the installers about having cloud security is all about, for example, this footage. So having the internet stability in your organization to be able to review all the pictures, all the video streams, like keeping this quality on. So absolutely. I, I, I think if you're going in this direction, one of the things that we get a lot of is people that have multiple locations, right? Those people that have multiple locations inherently quickly see the value with the fact that they don't have to go to these locations to manage things. When something goes wrong, when something breaks, they're not driving to the site, right? The ability for resellers that work with end users that have a number of different locations, the simplification of that and the ability to start managing all of the different locations by simply logging into our URL is, is just terrible. Well, honestly, I, I've learned a great bunch today about cloud video storage, so thank you, Cooper. And guys, if you have questions about VMS solutions like Eagle Eye, leave a comment below, and I'm sure that Cooper will make a pleasure to help us answer those questions. So, again, thank you. Any shout-outs you would love to give before we leave? Listen, I'll shout out to my Brevo counterparts and the rest of the team at Eagle Eye Networks. Um, we are led under a visionary named Dean Draco who knows what he's doing and he is in this to make this world a better place with security. Um, I love everybody that I work with and I believe in what I do. Two great companies, Brevo and Eagle Eye Networks. Thank you very much. I love this stuff. Yuri, my God, that's incredible. You're so good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.